To take footage off of your GoPro session and put it onto your Chromebook, you open up the latch, plug in the micro USB, turn the GoPro on, and when the screen lights up, then you can plug in the USB. If you plug it in without turning the GoPro on, it will just charge. So you have to make sure that the screen turns on first. Once you have plugged it in, a screen will pop up and you can go through and search different videos. On most Chromebooks, the first video that pops up is usually the one that you just filmed. And in this case, it was a student filming some measurements that they took. And I can go around looking at different ones. This is of a student creating or making a boat. Then I use we video which is a cloud-based video editing software for Chromebooks and you can use it for free up to one gigabyte and your students would put a title they'd create an account first uh, through their Google email account um, but it's pretty simple it once you get in you just create a new project uh, project you go to upload and then browse to select. This will um, direct you to the different options on your Chromebook of where you're going to pull your video and you'll see there's the Hero 4 session and then there's a folder DCIM and the video was in the last folder so I click that folder and I'm searching for the video which was 5054 and I upload it. Once I upload it it will be put into the Wii video screen and it will be under it will be under the my media so it's processing and loading and when it's finished I go to my media and there's that measurement video that we saw earlier and I'm gonna put it on the timeline and this is where students can now start building their timeline with different videos that they've taken and in the order of the in order in the order of the cross-graining template